Here we are on a Royal Flare Caravan. Now we can see the inverters located under the lounge here. Makes it nice, safe, tucked away. However, using it from a day-to-day -day point of view, obviously a little bit difficult to access. Great benefit of the transfer model inverters from Enerdrive is they've got the removable display. So great application there. They've actually removed the display and mounted it here right at the entrance to the doorway, making control monitoring all very simple. Great application here showing where we've used the remote control of the transfer model inverter located here, easily accessible just at the entrance to the door. This is great for situations where the inverter may be located under the lounge, for example, not so easy to get to, but you can still have all the functionality here. Now we can see here with the display turned on currently, so the inverter's turned on. We have the status light there showing as inverting because we're not plugged into mains power at the moment. The display is also showing the green light because we're showing the DC voltage. If we press the select button there, it goes to orange, which therefore now shows the kilowatt readings. Because we're not drawing anything there, it's obviously at zero. To go into the settings menu there to adjust any of the functionality, we simply press and hold the select and power button for around about five seconds. Now we're into the first one. As we've just run through all the PS settings, we can see if we press that one there, we actually changed this earlier on to PS1. To change it back to the default setting of PS6, for example, we just scroll through and then press and hold the button until you hear a beep and it changed to the next functionality of the alarm functions there. So I can see either with the alarm on or off. So I'll just leave it there as default. I'll just press and hold that one again. And now we also go now to our voltage settings. So the default there again is the SDL, which is the low voltage setting. This is great if you're running like a lead acid battery, for example, the alarm actually occurs at 11 volts DC with a shutdown at 10.5. The SDH is good for when you're connecting to say a lithium battery where your voltages are higher, for example. And this is because the alarm doesn't occur until 12.1 volts with a shutdown at 11.8 volts. So all through the functionalities there, it's timed out, but we can see there what the settings are as default. To go into the last functionality again, because it's timed out, I'm just gonna simply press and hold the buttons twice. This quite happen, often happens when you're uh, referring to the manual, for example, and you need to just double check some things. So we can go through the settings there again, scroll to the next one, pressing the power button, scroll to the next one. The last function that we have there that we didn't run through was doing a factory default reset. Again, with the FD displaying there, just press and hold the select button for about that five seconds. You'll hear the audio beep, and that will reset back to the factory defaults. If you're ever unsure and you don't have a manual on you, always best to go back to the factory defaults. And that's running through the process of how to adjust the settings on a transfer model inverter.